In today's video, we're going to take a look at this Windows 11 Lite version from the Team OS community called Area OS. As you can see, the installation interface is already starting, and as I always say, before getting to this point, you must download the ISO from the pinned comment and create a bootable USB drive either with Rufus or Ventoy since this ISO is fully compatible with those tools. Once your bootable USB is ready, go into your motherboard's BIOS and set the USB as the primary storage. Boot from the USB and you'll enter this Windows 11 installation interface. As we can see, this system is created by the Team OS community and the language is set to US English. Later in the review, we'll check if it's possible to switch this system to Spanish. Let's click on next, accept the terms, click next again, and when the hard drive appears, we leave it as is and click next once more. The file copy interface for this OS will begin. This is a modified, de-bloated version of Windows 11 Lite by Team OS. The minimum requirements to install this Windows 11 Lite 24H2 based system called Area OS are as follows. We're doing this review as usual on a virtual machine using VMware 17 Pro with 4 GB of RAM and a processor with 2 cores and 2 threads. These are the minimum installation requirements for this Windows 11 Lite Area OS. It's also essential to have an SSD hard drive to install this system, since we're installing a modern Windows 11 24H2 based OS in 2025, using an HDD is not recommended for a modern, de-bloated and optimized version like this one. If you enjoy reviews of modified, de-bloated and optimized operating systems, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already joined our community of OS lovers, and share this video with anyone who enjoys this kind of content. We are now restarting the installation process to move on to the second phase of this Windows 11 Lite Area OS setup. We're in the second phase of the installation from the Team OS developers. As I always remind you, do not restart or shut down your PC or laptop at this stage. Modifications and service installations are still happening in the background. Turning off your computer now could corrupt the installation and you'd have to start over from scratch. This system cannot be installed over an existing one. You must install it fresh, from zero, using a bootable USB created with tools like Rufus or Ventoy. We are now entering the administrator profile, which is set by default in the system. It says preparing Windows, and any moment now will be inside the desktop environment of Windows 11 Lite Area OS. We are now inside the Windows 11 Lite Area OS system from Team OS. The wallpaper is beautiful, and by default, the system is set to light mode. On the desktop, we see shortcuts to the recycle bin, an extras folder, and a folder to follow the Team OS project. Opening the extras folder, we find Mozilla Firefox installer, a command prompt script, an Ultra X Thumpture, an app for installing third-party themes. If we check the Start menu, we see it uses the classic Start menu thanks to the Start All Back application. Typing the command WinVer, we see that Windows 11 Lite Area OS is based on Windows 11 24H2, specifically build 26100.4061. Performance and Usage Going into Task Manager to check resource usage while idle. 22 Background Processes CPU Usage 4 to 5% RAM Usage 1.3 GB out of 4 GB available In File Explorer, the ISO size is 3.95 GB. It has no restrictions like Secure Boot or Microsoft Account requirements and can be made bootable with Rufus or Ventoy. Given its size, the recommended USB drive should be at least 8 GB. Right-clicking on the local disk and checking properties, the OS takes up 11.11 GB of space, slightly high for a light version. Installed Applications and Features 
Going into the control panel, we see only a few installed apps. Remote desktop connection. Start all back for the classic start menu. Checking installed updates, there are three pre-installed updates included by the creator. As for Windows features, Area OS includes .NET Framework 3.5, Media Features, PDF Printing, Document Printing Services, Remote Differential Compression, SMB Direct, TCP Port Sharing, and Windows PowerShell 2.0. Client Folders. Right-clicking on the desktop opens many options, including Kill unresponsive apps, view wallpaper location, open CMD as admin, appearance settings, wallpapers, colors, sounds, etc. Bluetooth settings, control panel views, category, icons, all tasks, Windows firewall settings, restart explorer, Shut down Restart menu, Task Manager shortcut, and a Windows Tools folder with shortcuts to all system utilities. System Settings and Language Opening System Settings, we get the common warning Windows is not activated and we need to apply a medicine or activation. Checking built-in apps, in addition to those from Control Panel, we find Calculator, Microsoft Edge WebView Runtime, Notepad, Paint, Snipping Tool, and WebView Extensions. In Privacy and Security, we see Windows Defender is included and active as the default antivirus. Checking Windows Update, we get an error message saying something went wrong and to try again later. Trying again confirms the Windows Update service is likely removed or disabled by the creator. Going to Language and Region, we try to install Mexican Spanish as a test to see if it's possible to change the system's language. Important, if Spanish Mexico fails to install, no other language will work either because the component responsible for language installation has been removed by the creator. As expected, all components related to the language pack, writing, voice, speech recognition, etc., fail to install. This confirms that only U.S. English is supported, and if you're looking for a fully Spanish OS, this Windows 11 Lite ARIA OS won't be suitable for you. If you want to try this Windows 11 Lite ARIA OS, the download link is in the pinned comment. And if you're interested in more videos about optimized, de-bloated, and modified systems, a new playlist is now appearing on screen with lots of other great OS builds you shouldn't miss.